Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I am Rosie and basically this will be a beauty haul. Just me basically sharing the makeup that I have bought recently and the reason why I'm doing this is because I get asked often, Rosie, what are some cruelty-free brands or Rosie, what are some of the makeup brands that you use? In the past, my makeup has been so simple but lately, I'm getting really into makeup and I've been learning so many new techniques that I'm applying and I got in the mood to be buying makeup items. And so I thought it would be a great idea to share what I got because everything that I got is cruelty-free. I'm not 100% sure that everything is vegan. I tried my best. To me, as far as food, if I go to the grocery store, I can tell right away if something is vegan or not, but the makeup world, it's something completely different. So for me, it's easy to... So the three most used ingredients that are not vegan that a makeup product might have might be beeswax from Honey, Carmine from Beetles, and Lanolin from Sheep. So those are like the three most common that I see. So those type of makeup products I didn't buy, but there are still other ingredients that I wasn't sure if they were plant-based or animal-based. Um, they might be either or. So with those, I wasn't 100% sure. It's all about learning. If you guys know if it's vegan or not, let me know, but everything is cruelty-free. So I tried my best. So without talking anymore, let's begin. I'm going to begin with the things that I got from CVS. I'm going to start with the brand NYX. So this is one of the first products that I grabbed and I really like the packaging. It's so cute. It's kind of like a box and then on top it has a ribbon. This one, I wasn't too sure if it was vegan. I did read the ingredients, but if you guys know for sure if it is or if it's not, let me know, please. And this one, I did try it a couple of times and I didn't enjoy it too much. I would grab my brush and apply it on my skin and there was barely any color. It was not pigmented at all. And all that was left on my face was sort of just a little bit of glitter, that shimmer that this blush has. Basically, it's a blush, illuminator, and bronzer, but not something that I enjoyed using. Maybe as an illuminator, I would use it as, but not as a blush. I barely saw any color in my cheeks, and it was so hard to apply. So this one, I'm not too sure. The next one that I grabbed is the NYX Umber Blush, and this one for sure, I know it is vegan. And basically, this line has two tones in each of their blushes. I don't know if you can tell, but on this side, it's a darker pink. And on this side, it's a lighter pink. So all the blushes that I recently wanted to get had to be pink tones because I feel like all the blushes that I currently have are dark and I didn't have pink tones. So I went for this one and this is actually the one I have right now on my cheeks. This is actually the blush that I currently have on my cheeks and I like that I can just grab my brush and apply it and it's pigmented so I really like that. It just makes the application so much easier and I see the color being applied to my skin. So this one I am loving. The next product by NYX is this lip liner and what I had in mind, I wanted to get a color kind of like my lip color but a little bit darker so trying to go for a natural shade and I thought this would be a good choice but this is actually more of a hot pink, like a fuchsia pink, not what I really had in mind. Either way, this is something that I will use. This one is one of the other products that I wasn't sure if it's vegan or not. And it's a matte lip liner. So with these lip liners, beside it came with the lipstick. So you get the lip liners and lipstick, but I didn't get the lipstick, just the lip liner. And for my eyes, which I am surprised that I'm actually getting eyelashes because in the past, I don't know what it is. In the past, I wasn't a big fan of applying falsies. If you've seen my past videos, then you have seen that I've done the eyelash perm, the um, eyelash extensions, but 
I'm not a fan of applying falsies. I don't know why. Right now, I do have them, which is a miracle. I wear them like twice a year, like for something special. But lately, I've been watching all these beauty makeup tutorials and I'm like, oh, you know what? Let me try new things. Like in the past, I didn't enjoy watching a lot of makeup tutorials. But lately, I found a few YouTubers that I really like and they make simple wearable makeup looks and that's what i've noticed that i really like so i feel more comfortable now doing my makeup there's a lot more that i need to learn but i i'm getting more comfortable that's what i'm trying to say basically and so i got ardell i got the 122 and the 135 so what i like about this one is that some hairs are short and some hairs are longer so that's what i really like about this one this one it's kind of kind of more like a messy look so i like getting the ones that look natural i don't like getting the ones that have all the hairs even i don't know why but a clown comes to mind when like clowns apply their falsies i don't know why but i don't like them when they're even so that's why i went for these Okay, now I'm going to share what I got from Ulta online. And every time I buy online, I like to use Ebates. That way I'm not only spending money, but I'm also getting cash back. So I'm going to share with you guys my invitation link. And that way you get $10. It's going to be in the description box. So the first brand that I got from Ulta is Pacifica. And I love Pacifica because their whole line is cruelty-free and vegan. So it just makes it so much easier for someone that is only looking for vegan options. You don't have to go find it elsewhere. You know that they have it. And so one of the first products that I picked out is this primer. It's the Cherry Matte mattifying primer and it basically controls your oil today is the first day that i apply this i applied it a few hours ago and it also has wild cherry extract and when i smell this it has a light scent to like bubble gum like cherry bubble gum so it's really light nothing too strong and the other item that i got is an eyeliner this time I got brown. I didn't have brown. Everything that I have are black eyeliners. And so I picked this one out for those days that I do want to wear eyeliner, but I don't want something too dramatic like black. So I thought I would try this one out and it's waterproof long wear. I also got a new beauty blender. The, the one that I currently have is the same color and I just love the nude natural color because it matches your foundation color. And the one that I have, I barely used it in the past, but now, like I said, since I'm getting more into makeup, now it's getting dirty. And something I didn't know that I just learned is that you should be replacing your beauty blender every three months, just like your toothbrush. So that's something I didn't know, and now I do. <laughs> And this is what I also have been using to apply my foundation. I get it wet and this is what I use today. The next brand is Ardell. And something that I got is this tool to apply lashes. I saw a YouTuber using this tool to apply her falsies and she made it look so easy. So I like that on one side you can grab the eyelashes and on the other side it's like a rubber material which helps to push in the eyelash when you're applying it on your eye so this is what i use today and i'm getting the hang of it um what i did really like was this side especially on both sides on the ends when you apply your eyelash and they stick out and then you want to push it back in so that was really helpful and then i just noticed that i also got eyelash 122 the same one that i got from cvs and this was not planned i just picked something that looked kind of natural messy and you can tell it's the same one so all the little hairs have different length which i love and the last items that i got are four lipsticks these are the ulta beauty lipsticks and i remember they had a sale going on i don't remember if it was like buy two get one free or buy three and get one free one of those but basically i just wanted to get more natural tones because my favorite lipstick by elf it's party pink or pink party 
No, it's party pink, I believe. I'm running out of that one and I haven't been able to find it. I think they don't make it anymore. So I'm worried that I'm going to run out and I'm just basically looking for something really similar to that. And so that's why I wanted to take advantage of the offer of the sale they had going on and that way maybe find my next favorite pink shade lipstick. One of them has glitter, which I'm not a big fan of glitter for makeup or shimmery makeup, but I thought, let me try it. So that's it you guys, I hope you really liked this video and that it was helpful to find new brands that are cruelty free if you're just getting into this or if you already have this lifestyle then I hope that it was helpful to show you the new products that are available. Let me know if you guys like this, if you want to see more beauty videos on my channel or any thoughts you have then let me know in the comments section. And I invite you guys to my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter. I am so active on those three. And if you can tell, this is the outfit. One of the outfits that I share in my previous video that I said that it was white and everything was showing. So I returned it and this is the one that I chose now. It's like a red wine color, which I like. The other option is a navy blue and these jewelry pieces by canva which i really like it's so pretty i'm going to put everything in the description box thank you so much for watching as always and i'll see you guys in the next video kisses bye